Welcome to the 365 Performance Show with your host, Scott Dillon. G'day everybody, hope you're having a great week. Today's topic is this, don't do that, you idiot. So, isn't it interesting that people will always give you their thoughts and feedback, especially when they disagree with what it is that you're doing, especially if it's different to what they're doing. I used to be really, really, really sensitive to feedback in the past. I love getting it. All of our clients, we send surveys all the time. And while it's nice to be told that we're doing a great job, the real growth, and even though sometimes it's a bit hard to hear, it's when we get the bad feedback because it makes us pull up our socks and improve what we're doing and do a better job. But what I want to talk to you about today is when you get feedback that's often, un- oftentimes unsolicited and it's from people who really, they don't necessarily care too much about you and what it is that you're truly doing. They're just throwing ideas and things out into the universe, not really caring who listens. And a great example of this is the stuff that you'll often see on Facebook. Often you'll see people making comments and things about politics and how much of an idiot the president is and a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't want to get into politics. I don't pay that much attention to it and I'm not on one side or the other. But the one thing I do know is this. I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. I'm not the silliest tool in the shed either. But right now, given where I'm at in my life, I do not have the skills to run an entire country. I do not have the ability to handle the stress that that guy must be under. Simply the fact that he is a president means that literally half of the entire country hates him which also means most likely that half of the entire world hates him. And I do not know how well I would go handling the pressure associated with every single day, me getting up out of bed knowing that millions and millions and millions of people hate my guts. On top of that, given the decisions he has to make, I don't know how I would handle the fact that I'd get up out of bed every single day knowing that tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people actually want to kill me. They want to see me dead. I do not know how I would be able to handle people threatening my wife, kids and people I love and saying all horrible things about them and hearing a bunch of things that I said in the media, misquoted and making me look like a lunatic. I do not know how I would possibly be able to handle that pressure. But you'll notice that on Facebook, there is always a bunch of people saying how much of an idiot the president is. Oh, if only he did this way. If only he did it this way, given your knowledge that most likely has simply just come from a news website. And it's no different if you'll see it in sports and other but that's the end of my rant. But the one thing I want you to think about today is when you've been making decisions based off of where you're at in your life and the full set of facts that you are presented to make your decision. And then all of a sudden, people started to be advice holes around you. They would say things like, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I think you should do something different. Oh, I think that's stupid. Oh, don't do that. How many times has that happened to you? I think it happens to us lots and I think the more people you deal with, the more successful you get or the more people that you have in your circle, these advice holes come from every which way. And it's important at times to possibly have a little bit of a framework that can sort of filter what you should listen to and what you should not listen to because there's been many things that I've done in my life where certain people around me have thought I've been stupid, idiotic, crazy, and if it wasn't for me doing those so-called stupid, idiotic, and crazy things, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now in my life. And I see it time and time again, also just with clients. They might have never really been that 
fit and healthy before and they've come to us and they're really focused on making a change we're supporting them we're really guiding them along and helping them get that self-belief and have amazing success but then they always have these sort of speed humps that they have to work through and it could be something as simple as this might be someone that's got 30 kilos to lose and then all of a sudden instead of eating rubbish at lunchtime they're prepping their food and they're taking their little lunch box to work and making a healthy choice and then part of their circle of friends they're at work start to give feedback like that's stupid that's stupid you can't eat vegetables and protein in every meal you can't just be prepping your food all the time you can't be doing that you're stupid look at you why are you doing that for all these little negative things that they impart on you without asking and if you're not in the right mindset it can be really easy to just fall back into old habits and make these other people who are giving advice that's unsolicited sort of win and it's not necessarily all the time that they're doing this just to be pains in the asses and be horrible to you there's a lot of time and stuff that they're hiding from also but what I wanted to tell you is what I go through every single time people give me advice there's like a little hierarchy the first people I listen to is my parents I didn't necessarily do that when I was a younger little prick but parents at the end of the day are the people that made you and without them you wouldn't be here so if they have something to tell me it's my pretty much I I have to listen the second piece if my wife or if I had kids if they were to give me feedback I need to listen to it the third piece is people I pay to give me feedback okay if I've got an accountant if I've got someone else that's like mentoring me and I'm paying them to hold me accountable and guide me along a certain direction I will listen to their feedback and the fourth one is the people that pay me my clients I want to listen to their feedback just because I listen to it does not need mean that I need to implement anything from it but it is my job as a human being on the planet to listen and take it in and then from there decide but you would hear in what I said then, at no point in time was me listening to the feedback from people I don't know. Me listening to the feedback from people that follow me that have never actually worked with us. Or other elements like that. And it can be a good idea for you to possibly, if you don't have a certain framework that you filter things through, right now if you sort of assess and listen to perhaps the same way that I, I said it. So you got your parents... They always mean the best for you. The next piece is your husband, your wife, your partner, your kids if you've got any. The third piece is the people. If you pay for advice, and it can be something as simple as like an accountant, yeah? Or it's a coach, whoever. And then the fourth one is if you do own your own business or whatnot, and they're giving you advice about the way things they would like to see run, you can possibly consider that as well but a lot of times especially when we're making changes and things that we haven't experienced before we can be held back by people who aren't basically a part of that new sort of lifestyle that we want to live and their thought processes and advice can really hinder us from going forward so just something that i wanted to share with you today because recently i've been sharing a bunch of stuff in certain areas and while i do get lots of good feedback every now and then you'll get some negative stuff and negative stuff's fine if it actually helps you grow and adjust and change but it's just important that you don't change things around for people that aren't working with you or close to you to begin with because often they can derail you and have make you head in a direction you do not want to go hope you have a great day and i'll speak to you